One, a Black Lady Sketch Show (HBO). This HBO sketch comedy series, created by Robin Theda and starring Theda and a core cast of hilarious black women, is both funny and long overdue. The sketches on the series are not just lol-worthy, but surprising, escalating again and again to conclusions that viewers won't see coming. But most important, the humor is completely steeped in the perspectives of black women, which makes this series not only a consistent hoot, but a groundbreaking one. 2. The Act Hulu, even if you already know the story of Dee Dee Blanchard, her daughter Gypsy, and the lies perpetuated about Gypsy's allegedly debilitating illness, the act is still engrossing television. If you don't, these 10 episodes inspired by their story will make you say, are you kidding me, almost as frequently as you did during Abducted in Plain Sight and Wild, Wild Country. 3. Barry HBO. In its first season, Barry was a great dramedy about a hit man attempting to leave the killing life in order to pursue acting. In its second, Barry rose to exceptional heights. The writing, the directing by the likes of Hiro Murai and the show's co-creator Bill Hader, and the acting across the board became even more layered, deliberate, and gripping. Yes, this is still a show about a hit man attempting to leave the killing life in order to pursue acting. 4. Better Things Pamela Adlin's series about a divorced single mother and actress posts its strongest season this year, doubling down on its storytelling style and going for broke in the direction Adlon helms every episode in addition to co-writing, producing, and starring. There are at least a dozen sequences in this batch of 12 episodes that affirm the idea that cinematic isn't just a synonym for, we spend a lot of money. Adlon has a rare ability to suggest the emotional interiors of characters even as she gives them their space. 5. Big Mouth Netflix. This Netflix animated series about the young and horny has always focused on the sexual aspects of coming of age, and it continues to do that in its third season. But like middle scholars transforming into their young adult selves, it also explores new avenues of storytelling. An entire episode functions as a biopic about Duke Ellington, while another involves the staging of a musical version of the 1994 erotic thriller Disclosure. But it also demonstrates, in always hilarious and occasionally poignant fashion, that growing up means letting go of childish things.